Welcome everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. Let's go ahead and get started with this tarot read. We'll see, see what messages come forward from the cards today. So what you got for us tarot? I had a bunch just go sideways right there. Healing. Renewal. Change. Somebody's going through some sort of a change. Somebody's had to do some healing. I feel like we're moving into a positive time though. Getting focused. Getting focused on life. I want to grab a few more here and sort of see what's been going on. What is somebody healing from, Tarot? Gratitude. Generosity. I feel a secondary energy in some of these cards. This, this generosity card. This is like being grateful for somebody in this person's life. I feel like somebody has helped someone with their healing. Somebody has helped someone with their healing process. I grab more cards here. Purification. It was like whatever this was, it was a chance to sort of purge things or energies from somebody's life. Things that were no longer serving them, things that weren't helping them, things that might have even been uh, toxic. I feel chaos in that energy card. I feel like, um, like drama, like crazy drama. Someone was dealing with some crazy ass drama. And now I feel like a protective energy, like I said, with this generosity, I don't know if this is a friend or a family member or somebody who stepped in and offered this person like an alternative, like an alternative place to be so that they didn't feel trapped or they didn't feel stuck in whatever this chaos was. That's what it was. They offered them a retreat. Transmutation. I feel like somebody's had a pretty big life change within this too. Uh, not just stepping away from a toxic energy and growing themselves. Transformation. Because I feel like somebody is doing a lot of growing. In this flow too, I feel like everything happens for a reason. I feel like all of this stuff was part of somebody's life journey. And this generosity person too is like a huge part of this person's life journey. Like they were supposed to flow into this person's life too. I'm going to grab a few more cards because I want to know sort of what that relationship is all about, who that generosity person is. They are offering stability. Like somebody's getting their feet back under them. I, oh, I almost feel like there's a deeper relationship developing here. This person who sort of offered this generosity, offered this retreat. I feel like it started as sort of one thing and it's sort of becoming deeper. The connection between two people is becoming deeper because of this. interesting honestly everything happens for a reason this person who's helping came into this person's life for a reason acceptance i feel like they helped this person to break away from a toxic cycle too i feel like somebody the person who had to do the healing was in an extremely toxic relationship right with that energy i feel like chaos chaos conflict drama crazy shit and and i feel like they felt trapped like they had no way out so whoever this generosity person was this person gave them an out and then by them having the courage to take this out they also sort of changed their perspective on things i feel like it's been like a transformative change for them but like i said i also feel a deeper connection with whoever offered this retreat Whoever offered this protection, I feel like that person is very genuine in their intentions. Like this was not a, oh, somebody's down and out and vulnerable. So I'm going to sort of, you know, offer something and hose them. This was like, a, I genuinely want to help you. I genuinely care for what you're going through. And I would like to help to improve your situation. Power. Let's grab a few more here. It's almost like family, power, family. You know, I don't feel like the person who offered this generosity is necessarily family. I don't feel like blood relation. I don't. I didn't get that in the beginning of the cards. Even looking at this wolf spirit, I don't get it. This might be like soul family. Like soul family. Like somebody who you're just connected to like a soulmate or someone from a past life. Uh... And this is why this connection is sort of getting deeper the more time these people spend together. Manifesting dreams. Courage. 
I do feel like somebody's coming into their power. The one who's healing is coming into their power. And it is a direct result from this relationship, from this new relationship, from this relationship of two people sort of building together, of this generosity, of somebody helping. Like I said, in that even in that manifesting dreams, I feel a deeper connection like it started at one level and is getting deeper and deeper than that. There's trust being built here. There's like honesty. Justice. So I do feel whoever broke away from this, this toxic cycle, I do feel there is some element of the court system here. So whether this is a divorce, whether this is like pressing charges for some sort of um, abuse or, or theft or something, some sort of mistreatment with their ex, they are going through the court system. And while that's happening, they are staying with this person. They are staying with this person. This person helped to get them out of a toxic situation, help them to sort of remove themselves from this devil card because they were stuck in it. I do feel like this person, like in terms of living arrangements, had nowhere else to go. And that's part of why they were stuck in the toxicity and they didn't want to be there. And so someone was able to sort of offer them that, that olive branch, offer them that alternative, that retreat, so that they had somewhere safe to be. Somebody recognized the situation that they were in and were like, hey, you can come heal with me. I actually, I'm going to tell you guys, uh, I do feel like there was physical abuse in that last relationship. And I do feel like somebody is healing from that. In this Four of Swords, I don't just see like emotional healing. I actually see physically healing. And then I get pulled back to the Justice card. So I do believe this is part of what somebody's going through in the court system. I do believe that there are like assault charges that are being sorted through dealing with this X from the past. This X is represented by this devil card. I see this as somebody who's very angry, very angry, very aggressive, possibly extremely manipulative, but very controlling too. 10 of pentacles. So I do see money in that 10 of pentacles too. And I am going to tell you that I do feel like it's tied into justice. I do feel like it's going to be something that helps somebody start a new cycle in their life. This is going to be part of what's going on in the court. I'm not entirely sure how that comes into play. If this is assets that are se being separated at the same time. But I do see somebody is going to wind up with some financial gain from all of this playing out too. Which is going to help them to move forward, to move out of the home of the retreat. Like the person that they're with, the person who's offering this retreat. They're going to be able to move out of that and start their own new situation too. I do feel a level of nurturing. I feel this Empress card is the person who offered the retreat. It represents the person who offered the retreat. This is somebody who's nurturing. It's somebody who's kind. It's somebody who encourages sort of growth, self-growth. I feel safe. I feel safe with this Empress card. Whoever this represents, that's what they offered. They offered this sense of safety to the person who is going through this abusive situation. They offered a place to be and perhaps a new perspective. But if they did it, they did it in a soft way. So they wouldn't have said like, your ex is a piece of garbage and you need to take them to court and you need to ha da 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 da. It would be sort of like, well, how do you feel? How does that make you feel? What do you feel like you would need to do to feel safe again or feel like justice is served. You know, like they have this way of helping somebody find their own answers. I really like this Empress. I haven't met this Empress, but I really like this Empress, whoever this person is. This person's super solid. This is someone you would definitely want by your side. It is the Queen of Swords energy too. It's like offering that insight. Offering that insight without, without being aggressive about it. Helping somebody to come up with their own answers. Helping someone to find their own direction. And then supporting them during that time is this nine of pentacles person. This is who is taken in is I feel like, like a mentor energy here to this nine of pentacles. It's like helping someone to come into their nine of pentacles, helping someone to discover their freedom again, helping someone to discover their happiness and their abundance again, and sort of that empowerment. That's what she's helping somebody to, to do. She's helping somebody to come into that for themselves. Uh, or of pentacles. I do believe this person's in a rough spot financially too, but like I said, that will change. That is going to change. This person is sort of going from this four of pentacles where they're like, they're kind of like broke. They're broke because I feel like they left everything to go to this retreat 
just to get away from this abuser. It was sort of like with the clothes on their back or like a small bag of stuff and they just ditched. They had to do it sort of quietly during the night or when this person wasn't home. They just had to like take off, take off. And I do feel like they have like nothing or had next to nothing. That will change. I see that in these cards here. That's going to change. When all of this shit plays out in court, then this Ten of Pentacles comes into play. And this is going to be some sort of financial compensation. And it could be because of medical expenses. Because this person was physically hurt by their abuser. So there could be money coming from that. This could be assets being sorted out or the ability to recover assets that this one, and this one is capable of hiding assets and hiding things and keeping this person from getting to their money. Like there's someone who would take your bank card and not, not allow you to use it or find some way to lock you out of your bank account. This person's a jerk. I shouldn't say it, but this person, I have the worst feeling that comes off of that, that devil card in this case. This ex is not a nice person. This is definitely this person being able to retreat and move away from this was like the best thing they could possibly do for themselves. I still feel a soft energy in this Queen of Pentacles. This is our Nine of Pentacles coming forward, starting to rebuild again. Financial improvement is what I see here is when this Ten of Pentacles comes forward to her and she now has pentacles that she can work with to start a new beginning and move out of uh, this person's place and sort of find something for herself but I still see a soft energy there. So I feel like there's still healing that needs to be done. We're still part of working on that process. And balance, balance, four of wands. You know, and I am gonna tell you what I see in some of these cards. There may be children involved for this queen of pentacles. This abuser might be sort of uh, holding on to these kids or these kids might be in a different situation. Because at this point, I I don't necessarily feel this person's energy around children. But I do have this vibe about children, about family, about creating a safe place. A safe place. And I do see a chance to start a new beginning. And that Ace of Wands, I also feel perhaps even a new job is going to come into play for this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like whatever she gets here is going to help jumpstart her, but she's still going to need something else. And I do feel like a new job or a new business venture is going to sort of help to carry that forward for her. It's going to help to keep building on this balance uh, that she started in this new chapter. It's going to help with the healing. It's like a new path. I feel an entirely new path. I do feel like she actually might be moving to like physically relocating possibly at a decent distance to put physical distance between herself and her abuser so that if her abuser gets out of jail at some point or is free and sort of on the move at some point that she is not physically in the same vicinity as this person uh, that Ada wants can represent air travel. I do feel distance. I feel like reaching out to a distance and I do see a new path and I felt it as soon as I pulled the two of wands to it was like it's a really different path. It's somewhere very much different. The magician card says to believe in herself. Have confidence. Have confidence that you're making the right choices. Have confidence that you're moving in the right direction. Yeah, have confidence in your choices. You have options. Weigh your options carefully. That page of swords. I do feel like this page of swords is speaking to this ex. This ex tried to keep control of this person for a very long time. They tried to keep them feeling like they had no options or like they had no way out and trying to make them feel trapped. There was lies. There was deceit. There was definitely abuse in this relationship. I feel like it's taking time to sort that out. And this is why I feel like traveling away, traveling away from all of this, getting physical distance between this queen of pentacles and that devil card is actually going to help her in healing and it's going to help to change her perspective because it takes her away from this person's influence. And the four of cups. I'm going to tell you this too. This abuser is going to reach out to her. If this abuser hasn't already reached out to her, they will. They will in the future. I feel like uh, 
they have this way of twisting words to try and twist this person's mind and keep control of them. I, I keep feeling there's like this need to block this person out. N don't repeat the past, right? It's lies. Whatever this person says, this page is this devil card. This page is this devil card. This is like lies, lies. Do not believe these lies, whatever this person is spinning to you. This is like blocking that blocking whatever they're trying to offer, whatever option they're trying to bring forward. And this option is going to be just to rope, rope this queen of pentacles back into this crap. It's going to be to rope her back into a cycle of abuse. So there is like a need to block this out. That's what I feel here. There's a need to block it out. There's a need to look after oneself. There's a need to do what's right for oneself and possibly one's children. I feel like we need to move away. We need to separate, need to have confidence that we can build a new life somewhere else. I always feel like this queen of swords, and I'll tell you two swords can be, uh, it can be an air sign like a Libra, an Aquarius or a Gemini. But whoever this beautiful queen is, this Empress queen, she has helped this queen of pentacles immensely. She's given this person all sorts of a new perspective. She's given them the self-confidence to start making their own choices because this person hasn't been able to make their own choices for a very long time. They've been very trapped in this abusive relationship. So I do feel like this Queen of Swords gave this person one hell of a jump start. I feel like they have a bond that is going to last a lifetime. Even though they will be separated by a distance, I feel that in the cards, she is going to move a distance away. I still feel a connection between these two energies. I feel like it's a bond that's, like I said, it's going to last a lifetime. Even if they only talk, you know, once or twice a year, even if they don't see each other for years at a time, I feel like that bond will never be broken. I feel like that bond is going to carry into the next lifetime as well. That's how deep their bond has been created, right? It started as this offer of friendship. And I feel like it's a soul connection now. I feel like they're soul family now. Alrighty guys, I hope that you enjoyed that read. If you did, please hit that like, that subscribe. It definitely helps the channel out and feel free to comment. I love hearing from you guys. Take care.